In this video, we'll learn how to draw vector arcs and straight lines in Illustrator. These are some of the simplest shapes we could possibly make, and as such, it's important to know how to make them quickly and accurately. I've got one of the week 5 demo files open, but of course, we could draw into any Illustrator file. Before we start, I'd like to make sure that I have the default fill and stroke set to white and black respectively. And I can do that by clicking the default fill and stroke button right below the color picker in the toolbar, or just hitting D on the keyboard. I'll also make sure that my smart guides are enabled by clicking view smart guides in the menu bar. And this will help me to line up shapes that I'll be drawing. Let's start by just drawing some straight lines using the line segment tool. I'll select it from the toolbar. And to draw with this, all we do is click and hold where we want the line to begin, then drag and let go where we want it to end. And that gives us a straight line between the two points. If we'd like a little more accuracy, we can also single click and set a length and an angle relative to where we clicked. So let's say I want a five inch line at 40 degrees from that point. I've also got a checkbox here for fill line. I'll uncheck that for now, since that setting would only come into play during more advanced edits that we won't cover in this video. So you can see the line segment tool is very straightforward, definitely pun intended. Uh, let's move on to drawing arcs with the arc tool. And we can find that under the line segment tool sub menu in the toolbar. So I'll click and hold and select the arc tool. We can start the arc by clicking and holding to set the first point then dragging out to the second point and letting go. So I could set that first point at the end of one of my straight lines and try to match up the end of the arc with the other end of the line. Now I noticed that the arc is curving to one side of the line and I'd actually like it to curve to the other side, but drawing it out this way, there's no way to control that. So if I'd like a little bit more control over how my arc is formatted, I can double click on the arc tool and this gives me numeric options and a preview of what my arc will look like. So here I could set the width and the height. And when I first open this dialog up, these numbers will populate based on the arc that I just drew. So I'll leave them the same for now. I can set the orientation of the arc's starting point using these little handles here. I'll just leave that the same for now. And I can set whether the curve is open or closed. Open draws just a single arc, and Close draws sort of a wedge shape where straight lines connect into the arc's center point. And I'll leave it open for now. The Base Along option lets us specify whether we want the curve to be drawn horizontally or vertically. I'll leave that on the x-axis, and we can move on to Slope, which lets us control how the arc is bending. So you can see as I make changes here, I could bend it to the other side of that line. And finally, the fill option lets me specify whether to set the interior of the arc shape to the fill color. I'll leave that unchecked for now and go ahead and click OK. Now, when we double click on the arc tool to get the preview and the numeric options, we don't actually draw the arc. I don't know why Illustrator sets it like that, but it just does. Um, it just sets the options. So if we actually want to draw an arc with those options, I'll need to single click in my artboard where I want the starting point of the arc to be. So that brings up the same options and I can see everything is set the same. Let's go ahead and click OK and there I get my arc. Okay, so that's an overview of how to draw vector arcs and straight lines in Illustrator.